Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to continue learning about ArrayLists. Specifically, we are going to learn how to use wrapper classes so primitive data types can be stored inside ArrayLists. Some important facts. We can encapsulate a primitive data type in a wrapper class so that object can be stored inside an ArrayList. For each primitive type, there is a corresponding object type. For example, the primitive type int to the object type integer, the primitive type double for the wrapper class double, and the primitive type boolean for the wrapper class boolean. Java version 5 or later supports autoboxing, so it can easily convert between primitive and object types. Wrapper classes are immutable, like strings. That means we can't change the data on the heap. However, we can make the reference variable point to a new object on the heap. Let's start by creating an array list. We are creating an array list that will hold the object type double. Double with a capital D is a wrapper class to hold the primitive type double with a lowercase d. Here we see we created the variable nums on the stack and it's pointing to an empty array list on the heap. Next, we're going to look at the old fashioned way to do this without auto boxing. We're calling the add method and we're creating a new object of type double and we are passing the primitive type 3.2 into the constructor for the double class. This will wrap up the primitive 3.2 into an object and that double object will get added to the array list. We notice that the primitive type is encapsulated in the wrapper class. Next, we're going to look how to get the data out of it. Again, this is the old-fashioned way prior to Java version 5. So we're using the get method to get what's in index 0, and then we're calling the double value method from the double wrapper class to translate it to the double primitive type. Once that returns the double primitive type, we're putting it inside the primitive type variable x. Now the primitive type variable x appears on the stack with the value 3.2. Next, we're going to look at how to do it with autoboxing. Autoboxing means it will automatically convert it from a primitive type to an object type for us. So we just add the primitive type 5.6. It will automatically wrap it inside the wrapper class and place that on the array list on the heap. Next, we're using the get method to retrieve the object at index 1. It will return this object, and then through autoboxing, it will be automatically unwrapped to retrieve the primitive type value 5.6 stored inside. That will be placed in the primitive type variable y, which appears on the stack. We can see both ways work. This is without autoboxing. This is with autoboxing. For further reading, please check out this website or type autoboxing and unboxing Oracle into Google and choose the first result. To see the next video in the curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.